And finally, in conclusion, this uh, book was really, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's called Aqidah Nasafiyah. This book was the book that was studied in, uh, in the later um, Muslim colleges, and usually with a commentary by Sa'duddin al-Taftazani, one of the great intellectual giants of our tradition. And to give myself and the students some hope, he was actually considered very, very stupid when he was in the madrasa. And he had just an opening and, and suddenly uh, became uh, extraordinarily brilliant. Um, and and they, they attribute it to his sincerity. But, uh, and that's why we don't really believe in IQ tests and we don't believe in, even now we know that these things are plastic, that the brain's plastic. Uh, we believe in Al-Fatah, <coughs> is one of the names of God, is the opener. But God can give you openings, he can open your heart. You know, they're, they're, they're literally a flowering of the heart can happen. Uh, people can have intellectual awakenings, just like they have sexual awakenings, emotional awakenings. They can have intellectual awakenings. They can have spiritual awakenings. And in our tradition, an intellectual awakening is a spiritual awakening because intellect and spirit are not separate. That, 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 that the mind itself is immaterial. The mind is a spiritual phenomenon. That's why really what's happening right now is a spiritual experience. It's just we're veiled to it. But consciousness itself is a spirit. People always say, you know, I want to have a spiritual experience. You are having a spiritual experience. It's called being conscious. What you have to do is wake up to it. And that's why you're already there. You just have to realize that you're already there. But this book, which is, is a truncated uh, summary of a vast metaphysical tradition, and at the later period, they were no longer studying that tradition. They were studying the, the fruits of that tradition. And that's why so many of our scholars that have studied um, don't really grasp the underlying uh, foundations of this because they did not get the tools uh, to do that. Uh, and and it's, it's one of the major problems. And, and everything comes out of that. In, in, in other words, the metaphysical foundation of your tradition is going to inform your ethics, your economics, and your politics. Muslims never produced a Machiavelli. All of our political literature is ethical. We, we never produced a Machiavelli. Uh, Muslims no longer have serious ethical philosophers, and so we're in crisis there, which is why uh, you can have scholars defending suicide bombing because they don't understand the implications of what suicide bombing actually means, right? What it means ethically, morally, the idea of opening the door of suicide, one of the gravest sins, a sin against the gift of life, uh, opening up the door of suicide to depressed people, to people that just want to check out of the planet. There's a lot of them around. Some of them, the only thing that's keeping them here is their faith. So you open up the door within the faith, and suddenly, who wants to hang around here? Right? 